My parents, um, they worked really hard to provide for um, four boys. My dad worked two jobs, but my mom worked at an advertisement agency for a number of years. She was the only black woman there. You know, and so many people respected her. So those were the people who I saw when, when I was growing up. Those were the people who were my mentors. So I felt as though as it was my social responsibility to, um, to give back. We have a lot of talented kids, <laughs> a, a lot of talented kids. We actually just recently hired um, a young lady who graduated from NASAR and she is amazing in fashion. And now we have a fashion program. And kids are drawing dresses and clothes and things like that. And they're really good. You know, I tell people all the time I live for my kids. I don't know what I would be doing if I hadn't started this program. What we do best um, is really providing the structure that we have here. The children are getting experiences and tools to, to ensure that they're actually learning. I need to continue to do this because what we're doing is working. You know, we really do not babysit. We really are teaching your children. We're giving them the foundations that they need. We are educators and we're nurturers and all of our children here in the school can benefit from that. Um, I didn't have the way to support my kids. I didn't have a way to feed my kids. And I did ask Ms. Sophia Rice, and then Ms. Sophia Rice spoke to Mr. Rice, and they both helped me out. They both helped me get grocery for my kids, and since then, I knew I, I belonged somewhere. And that's why they started the food pantry, because of me, to help other families that are in need and that need support. We know the struggles of our students, and we're here to make sure that we turn their struggles in, into their strengths. I think it's very important to let our children know that they can, instead of focused on what people say that they can't do. They can do, and they will do, and we will make sure that they do.